Hi there, and welcome to another uh, Squeezebox Advent Calendar. Um, and uh, well, it was going to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? Um, I've, I've got an instrument here, which is going to be for sale. Um, <laughs> it's not because I don't like it; uh, it's because it's not what I thought it was. Um, so here we are, an another day, another Hona. This is the Hona Club Model Five. Now. Hona have named their, their club models different things uh, over the years and um, some years of Club Model 5 were a very different thing to this from the period of the uh, 30s, um, 35 to 39 they made a thing called the Club Model 5, 6 and 7 which were miniature club models and that's something I really, really uh, wanted to own um, now, as you can see, this isn't miniature. This is, if anything, larger than most other instruments I own. Why did I get it? Uh, I'll tell you why I got it. Um, someone said they had it for sale and I followed up on it. Uh, very excited. Saw the picture. Um, and of course, uh, without any scale of reference, <laughs> you think, uh, OK, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go and get that nice miniature Melodian. And it was, uh, yeah very big melodion and I was too embarrassed to be honest with you not to get it and it is in absolutely lovely condition as well yes it's a it's an early um, club but not as early as I was looking at and I think it's probably late 40s or early 50s or something like that and um, and it, it's an absolute beast now first thing that you, you'll notice obviously is this delicious gold glittery finish that it comes in <laughs> It's uh, very bling, as melodians go, um, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's a three voice on the right hand side, and unlike any other instruments I own, it's a three voice where the three reeds are set to the middle pitch uh, tremolo, so uh, it's what they call a musette um, squeeze box, and it sounds well, it sounds like Jimmy Shand. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, it's it's one of those, and uh, unusually, it's in the key of D G because most club models uh, that are in D G have been uh, changed, um, so it's quite rare to find one in that key. Um, and it's D clubbed on the right hand, but not on the left hand, which means that uh, it on these pair of buttons up here, um, where there would normally be C in both directions on a melodeon, uh, it has the C on the pull. And an F chord and bass on the push um, can can be a bit confusing, but it's not as annoying as the the club note on the right hand side still being there because that's not there anymore. Um, you'll notice that the treble keyboard has uh, has some original buttons in the middle, uh, and then it has these um, uh, much brighter white perloid modern looking buttons. Now those were um, according to the guy that sold it to me um, this instrument was maintained by the late uh, great Niels Nielsen um, who was England's absolute best squeeze box tuner by far and a real character and I was very lucky to have some of my boxes tuned by him so uh, he was the guy that, that, that put this in the fettle it's in and you can tell it just it's, it sounds absolutely bang on um, but um, he obviously needed to replace these and and he made made these buttons himself from a stick of delrin which is a hard plastic sort of perloid material um and apparently he cut them off to size and and uh buff, buffed them up himself so uh there you go uh it's got a bit of a history uh beautiful sort of uh, it's almost purple but i think it's a kind of night blue um bellows papers on the inside behind the gold and um, yeah well we'll have a look inside briefly to see how a big club model like this is made uh, it's fairly standard construction um, and uh, then we'll give you a tune on it okay so here's the uh, Hona club model 5 um, the giant club model 5 <laughs> and uh, we can see it in a bit more detail so uh, I'll show you the action first this time. I'll, again, with honers of this period, it's generally pins just like the bellows pins, really, to remove the front grille. So 
So there we have it. It's um, it's a equivalent of a three row instrument, uh, but of course with a much smaller third row. So there's just these four pallets on the bottom, which have their own reed block, uh, reed blocks, um, and each one of these pallets has to be big enough to uncover three holes because it's a three voice for that musette sound. Okay, we'll go and put the uh, drill back on. So unusually for an instrument that's uh, this big, we've got um, only four bellows pins on each side. There you go, uh, it's a little bit rusty some of those, so it took a bit of persuading to come out. Okay, so the first thing you can see on the left hand as we uh, come in is that um, we've got three reed blocks. Um, and we'll have a look at that in a bit more detail. And then inside the right hand side, we have this, which is a, um, uh, you, there you can see the little tiny reed blocks that um, the, the half row uses. These blocks are tied together using um, a purloid, similar to the sort of purloid you find covering these instruments. Um, I shan't take them out because there's no mechanisms in there or anything, but basically standard uh, honer reeds. Um, got some corrosion on the plates, but they're looking pretty good, Nick. Um, so yeah, okay, and you can see by the um, some writing on here it says C and F. Now we know this is a DG instrument, so that's uh, what it used to be. So inside the left hand, um, we'll see the uh, amazing gulp of air that comes from this huge uh, air button. Um, we'll take the left hand off first to do to have a look at that. Okay, so we've got four screws at the corner to take the uh, base mechanism apart. Okay, so we'll go inside um, here, have a closer look at what's going on inside. So we've got a linked mechanism. So it's not as complicated as uh, you get in a Stradella system, but um, as you can see, when I press this button, it activates two levers. So what you have is the base reeds down the bottom here, but you also have um, some higher octave reeds here, uh, which are shared with the chords. Um, so this obviously will have the, um, the first and the second octave of the root note. On the chord, it opens that root note, plus this one, which will have the notes for the um, other two notes in the chord. So you've got G push and its bass note, and then you've got G and the other two notes in the chord of G there. Um, and this allows you to have a really full sounding melodion. Uh, so uh, as I was saying, um, with these extra uh, notes that you've got here, you have very full chords and uh, let's have a quick look at that, uh, that giant air button. I trigger it with, um, can you see it there? It's the whole length of the instrument again. Right, let's put it back together again. Okay, uh, so uh, not particularly uh, uh, excellent um, <laughs> stuff going on there. My memory card filled up. So uh, yeah, um, let's uh, have a look um, at the outside. Uh, there's those buttons a bit closer up with the uh, original buttons in the middle and then uh, the ne newer ones here. Um, and uh, do enjoy these, this outrageous glittery uh, pearloid on the outside. What, a, what an amazing looking instrument. I think gold and blue goes really smartly. There's these blue bits of trim and there's the dark blue bellows as well. Anyway, let's uh, go and try and play some tunes on it.
So there you go. Who wouldn't want to own this uh, amazing thing apart from me? Because I need more space for uh, acquiring future Melodians. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, make uh, come and uh, get in touch with me if you want this. I'm looking for 350 quid for it, um, which given the conditions it's in, I think is a bit of a snip. Uh, the price is low because it's somewhat unfashionable um, in its tuning and uh, and and size but it's a, a great useful box and uh, I'll certainly play it and you'll hear how it sounds which is uh, pretty pretty pokey so uh, on the treble keyboard um, we've got uh, a full row of uh, G and D uh, the button starts on the fourth uh, of the scale the fourth buttons is the beginning of the scale so Uh, but what that does mean is that you get the full octave because um, these are low notes down here. So you got. And. Uh, there's still an accidental down here on the bottom of the D row. Um, so the D row is the third, the fourth button start, but it doesn't go to the low note. And as I said on the left hand, we've got that uh, extra chord in here. So uh, D and G on the normal places. Uh, D and A. You can hear those really full multi-note chords. Um, B minor. An E minor. And you've got the C on the pull, and an F on the push, which does allow you to play sort of Scottishy things like. Uh, uh, and it does have a certain Scottish sound to it as well, doesn't it? Um, so, uh, yes, I'll play a tune on it to get you in the Christmas mood, and then, uh, you know. Uh, if you're lucky and get in there quick, it might be a Christmas present. Who knows? Um, okay, so this is uh, to get you in the mood for Christmas. I think you'll work out what it is. I forgot to point out is the uh, the air button here it's the most amazing air button I mean you can go from 0 to 60 and it's just got the <laughs> it opens a huge amount of air so uh, if you want to be gentle with it you have to be quite quite gentle with it you can make it go halfway but yeah if you need to take a whole gulp of air it takes no time at all anyway Hona Club Model 5 um, uh, in dazzling glittery gold see you in the next one Thank you.